Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Beautiful morning on the river as you can see and today we're going to be looking at books that you've submitted to me for review. So I'll be looking at the titles, the subtitles, the keywords, descriptions, the covers, interiors, all the aspects that make for a successful selling book. So if you're in the book publishing business make sure you stick around and watch the whole video. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay so let's have a look at uh, some books that you've kindly submitted to me and learning um, what other people have done whether it's good whether it's bad is a really useful way to learn how to create a successfully selling book and I certainly enjoy looking at other people's books as well so let's get straight to it so this is the first one that I'm going to review today now I'm going to try and get through as many books as I can today I'm not sure how long this is going to take but if I don't get to your book today then don't worry I will get to it in another video and what I'm going to try and do is maybe do this as a, a live broadcast uh, which is something I've been really keen on doing the only problem is I live on the river and all my internet comes from mobile broadband so I'm not sure how that's going to work so I'm going to do some tests and hopefully we can get that and then you guys can come online when I'm online submit your books and we can look at them live I think that's a really useful way of doing things okay enough of that and let's get to this first book looking at the cover it's called Gone Fishing Fishing Log Journal and we've got this picture of a fishing hook first big mistake here look at the title Gone Fishing spelling mistake that's going to put off people straight away now as i said before in other videos i do appreciate a lot of my audience don't have english as their first language and this can create issues with both spelling grammar punctuation and it really does put uh, people off now your main markets are going to be the us canada and probably the uk um, all english speaking and so any errors like that really do stand out and this certainly would contribute to, to putting people off. Now I noticed that um, this person has had a sale, so that's good, that's, that's promising. And this was published in July, so only um, recently. So I wouldn't expect too many sales to be made just yet. It can take a few months to really get into the system. So you've got the title here, Gone Fishing, Spelling Mistake. And then you've got the subtitle, Fishing Log Journal and the Perfect, perfect Fishing Log Notebook. So there's a, uh, got a couple of keywords in there, which is good however what I would probably do is get rid of gone fishing out of the title and I would use a keyword in the title uh, so something like fishing log journal or fishing log uh, notebook so let's just go and have a quick look on Amazon just at the keywords there so if we put in fishing log see what comes up okay so we've, it's quite popular so fishing log book gets 320 search per month on Google fishing log 590 we've got fishing log journal or fishing log book journal I should say so just having a look at fishing log let's just see how many search results okay there's only 902 um, search results for this very short tail keyword which is very promising now let's just go and have a look at some of the books to see if they are selling so we've got in here 109,000 bestsellers rank 37,000 128,000 274,000 excellent actually this looks pretty good niche to be in because even this short tail keyword has got search results of 902 which is less than a thousand so that's excellent, that fulfills the first criteria for me. We've got a, more than three books here with bestsellers ranks of less than 300,000, so they're making sales, so that's good. So you may even want, you know, you could probably just get away with putting Fishing Log in the title, but this publisher has put in Fishing Log Journal, so let's just have a, a, a check on that. So 20 searches per month on Google, that's okay. By the way, the figures I get there for the, the searches per month on Google come from a, a Chrome plugin I've got called Keywords Everywhere. You do need to pay $10 for 100,000 credits, which but they do last a, a quite a long time. So Fishing Log Journal, only 329 results. So not too competitive, which is great, which means there's a good chance of this book ranking in the top 10, uh, certainly on the first page, and, and quite feasible to get it into the top three, even number one. And again, look at the books here that are appearing for this keyword. Just looking at the first four, all got decent bestsellers ranks, so selling well. And obviously this time of year, you know, um, particularly in the, the, the Northern Hemisphere, a lot of people will be uh, fishing, but I suspect this would be a good selling book 
all year round. So would I make any changes? Yes, I'd probably put fishing log, if these are the keywords you're wanting to go for, put fishing log journal as the title, get rid of that gone fishing, it's not helping with ranking, and there's a spelling mistake there. So fishing log journal in the title. And for the subtitle, you've got the perfect fishing log notebook, which is fine. What I might be in, uh, inclined to do, if we put in fishing log, just put in fishing log there, we've got here for kids. Let's put in fishing log books, if any other. So um, popular suggestions from Amazon are fishing log book for kids, for men, under fives, journal book for kids again. Now I know men, women, uh, kids all do fishing. Um, but you don't want to uh, cram your subtitle. So what I would probably do is have for this fishing log journal as a title and maybe the perfect fishing log book for men and kids. You could also add in women so you could have the perfect fishing log um, book for men, women and kids. And so you're, it's looking natural and you're getting quite a few keywords in there. Now, what one other thing I think I would do, uh, we'll just have a quick look inside. Yeah, the interior look, looks okay. Now, obvious spelling mistakes. I notice species is in italic font compared to all these, which are in the sort of normal font. Not a big issue, but I might change that. Is time as well? I think time and species are both in italic font. I don't think it's a huge issue, but I probably make all those in the same sort of style font. All looks okay for the interior. Now for the cover, if we look at what's been listed, a lot of these books all have fish on the front. And, you know, one would expect that and, and why not? So I'd probably, if this was me, I'd put a picture of a fish on the front. So if we go to somewhere like Creative Fabrica, I'm putting fishing in the search bar. We can see here, we've got some graphics here. This one looks pretty good. Uh, and, that, and this one might work well on the front cover. Same with Vecteasy, I put in fishing in the search, went to this one, and again, something like this image here, I think would look very good on the cover. So overall, not too bad, it's just an obvious spelling mistake. I'd probably put a fish or some fishing design on the cover. This fishing log journal, this writing here, I noticed when it was in the sort of the, the small image that you do on a search, it wasn't very visible. So I'd try and make that a bit more visible, move all that up a bit and put the picture of the fish on the front. Okay, so let's go to the next book. So we've got this one, Animal Alphabet Colouring Book, a children's colouring book, learning the ABC with fun. Now when I first look at this, I think, okay, it looks attractive. And first of all, look at the title and subtitle, Animal Alphabet Colouring Book. So if we go over and look at the sort of keywords, Animal Alphabet Colouring. Okay, so we've got Alphabet, Animal Alphabet Colouring comes up as a uh, 30 searches per month. Let's have a look at the number of results. 796 results. Okay, so that's that's good in terms of it's not too competitive. And let's just have a look at the bestsellers ranks of some of the books that are here. A is for animals, 9,000, 79,000, 18,000. I notice a lot of these though <clears throat> have the title ABC colouring book. And the front of this book, obviously, it's got ABC, which seems to be a dominant um, feature of the books. So I might be inclined to look at ABC colouring book. Now, I don't know what the competition will be like on that. Certainly got 390 searches per month on Google, which means it's popular, which is good. Okay, so it's got the 1000 um, mark here. Now you'll notice I'm looking, I'm searching in the all categories. I'll leave a link above now for the reason of why I do that, because I always get that asked. Why are you looking at all and not in the books category? So we've got the figure 1000. So that falls within my criteria of not being too competitive. It's got more searches than the, the other title and again if we look at the the bestsellers ranks wow these are all very low but ones in particular for the ABC colouring book 18,000 9,000 I'm just looking at the ones that have got ABC colouring book actually in the the, the title this one here 79,000 so to be honest, I'd probably and I know this is already published so you may not want to do this so animal Animal Alphabet Colouring Book is satisfactory. I think looking at the book and, and the cover, personally, I would go with ABC Colouring Book. 
and then in the subtitle put something like um, animal alphabet coloring book for kids or I noticed a lot of these um, have ages on so you may want to have a think about what age group this is targeted for because I've noticed when I did a search there was a bar at the top appeared um, for different age groups so I think you could cover something like ABC coloring book in the title in the subtitle um, animal alphabet coloring book for kids aged doom, and put whatever uh, age group this would be if it's like I'm just taking a guess, say five to seven, put something like that for kids aged five to seven. I know there's a temptation always to maybe not put that because you think you're narrowing that niche down a bit too much, but I think that certainly does help with ranking and it does help with focus for people that are buying this sort of sort of book. Uh, price $6.97, the, all the description looks okay. I'm a big fan of bullet points in the the description so bullet point the size bullet point number of pages etc um, that tends to look quite nice and, and also helps people because they can just scan down and read quite quickly let's take a look at the interior ah, these look fine you can only see two examples here so I can't see anything wrong with that looks like there's a, a mixture of, of elements here various bits for kids to color in now just on the aspect of the cover now I was looking at this and I think what I would actually do I mean the thing that stands out to me here is this B with this sort of pattern here which doesn't look in keeping with the other ABC coloring books and it, and it looks a bit more adulty rather than kids and I would probably make this if I go and have a look at them I'd probably do the A B and C maybe in a slightly different font a more child child uh, centered font and do like a red A letter, yellow B letter, uh, blue C letter. Put that up more to the top here where Animal Alphabet Coloring Book is. Uh, underneath that put Coloring Book. And then maybe uh, towards the bottom here put um, um, Animal Alphabet. Or under the ABC put Animal Alphabet Coloring Book. That's what I would be inclined to do. Because if you look at a lot of these that are selling well, ABC is really a prominent part of the book. All the, the letters are in these bright colors. As you can see here, ABC, ABC. And these appear to be features in books that are selling well. So, so don't think, oh, I wanna be really different. I wanna be different from them because often the market's telling you what it wants. And it looks like here, a common theme would be those big letters in bright colors. And I'd make that a, the focus of your book because that's what it appears the book is about learning the alphabet the abc with animals and with coloring so that's the, the only thing i would do to to you know if i was doing a cover like that and now i think when it was submitted you mentioned you'd made some sales but i couldn't see any best sellers rank here so i'm not too sure and this has got 54 pages i'm not sure how many reading this i'm not sure how many pictures there are to color in whether that'll be 54 pictures pictures or whether you've left one side blank um, if you have that would make uh, 27 pictures to color in which might be about right if it's an abc so i'd probably write that in the in the description as well not to confuse people because and now let's have a look at the the page numbers of some of these other books if they're if they're all around the same number of pages that's fine but if you find that they're I mean this one's got 110 pages Um, this one's got 112 pages, so you may find if people are comparing, they might go, okay, well, this book has only got 54 pages compared to some of these others. I'll just check this. Oh, that one's, I'll just check this one here. Now, this one's only got 54 pages. Okay, it's only $4.99 compared to yours, which I think was $6.97. Um, but this one was selling well, but I might put that in the, the description just to let customers know so that they don't expect a, a bigger book. But overall, that's okay. I say my advice would be title something like ABC 
um, colouring book and then in the subtitle learn the ABC with this animal alphabet colouring book so you're covering um, a few different keywords there or something like no subtitle animal alphabet colouring book for kids and then the age that's, that's probably what I would do also one more last thing on this I forgot to mention just looking at the subtitle look at your capitalizations here you should have coloring in a capital C book capital B learning capital L and fun capital F just take a look at the other books to see how they uh, capitalize there uh, don't use that one as an example but if you use something like this as an example see how they capitalize um, their their subtitles only a small thing but I think uh, those small details make a difference I think we've got time for one more so let's have a look at this mermaid activity book for kids ages four to eight okay first thing looking at the title you've repeated the title in the subtitle which I wouldn't do so I'll just have mermaid activity book for kids ages four to eight a fun kid workbook game for learning coloring dot to dot mazes word search and more uh, get rid of that mermaid activity book for kids aged 4 to 8. Unfortunately, if you're going to make these changes, um, once you're published, you can't make changes to your title or subtitle, so you would have to unpublish and then, then republish again. But it may be worth doing that. I don't know if you've made any sales. I can't see a bestsellers rank here, so it doesn't look like you have. Okay, um, just have a quick look at the keyword, mermaid activity book for kids. Uh, is this getting any searches? Okay, so you're... So this does come up as a suggested title, so that's good. It means that uh, this would be suggested to customers, so they'd be inclined to click on it. Let's see how many. I'll just let's have a look, Mermaid Activity Book for Kids, first of all. So 3,000 results. Okay, let's have a look at the ages, four to eight. 2,000 results, even for that long tail keyword. So you are getting in the... For me, that would probably be too many search results. That, that uh, suggests to me this is a bit competitive. Um, are there any other ones? So let's have a look at Mermaid Activity Book for Kids. Are there any other keywords that come up? Um, this just looks like it might be too competitive, really, to, to start off with. Because um, the best you've got with that long, even if it's a long tail keyword like that, it's still um, 2,000 search results. So you may want to look at sort of the, the mermaid activity book niche, just experiment with the keywords a bit, see if you can find any keywords that have less search results, which might be difficult, because I say that's quite a long, long tail keyword. But as you already produced it, I wouldn't say scrap it, um, but it might be difficult without putting on some ads to get this ranked. But certainly remove that from the subtitle and you may want to uh, a fun kid workbook. I mean, that's very broad. Um, let's have a look. Kid workbook. That's probably going to be way too competitive. I mean, you're looking at 3,600 Google searches, 10,000 results. So you're not really gaining much from that. Um, from the subtitle especially I mean you've got these other uh, words in there coloring dot to dot mazes again these are really highly competitive keywords so you're probably not getting much benefit from your subtitle there so um, I would do something along the lines of you know if you've got that as your title I think it's going to be difficult to get a, a really low competitive keyword in the subtitle but maybe something along the lines of this I mean even just look at it if you have to put in mermaid, colouring, I think, yeah, I'm not sure what you would do with this one on the on the subtitle thing. A mermaid colouring book for kids. So you may want to put in maybe something like mermaid activity book for kids ages four to eight. A fun mermaid colouring book or firm, fun mermaid colouring dot to dot maze and word search book. Something like that. Is what I do. Um, looking at the cover now, when I did look at this on the, the the searches, it didn't really stand out. It didn't really pop, and I think it's the blue. I'm, I'm not keen on the blue, that shade of blue and that shade of yellow. It's not majorly significant. But if I looked at some of the other examples, they're really sort of quite vivid colours that tend to stand out. Whereas I didn't think that the colours of your cover really stood out. Probably want to get some because this is. This is a book that's going to be more for girls. So I'd probably want to maybe 
have mermaid. Mate, what I would probably do is do a lighter coloured, lighter coloured blue. I did see one that looked, that really for me stood out, which was on a light pale blue background. I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. Don't think it was that. But I, what I would probably do is make the background a paler blue. I don't know how your mermaid and, and all these fish and, and, and what have you would stand out on that. Maybe that make a paler blue and have mermaid in a brighter pink, have for kids in the same font as the, the mermaid and have the activity book. You could keep that as the same font as it is now, but have that in sort of a, a nice standout pink and a paler blue background. Why can't I? I can't seem to click on the, the interior here. I'll just refresh it. Could it just say independently published? So this is a, and it was also in April, but I'm not sure why I can't click on the inside. We can click on the, the back cover and they, the interior looks pretty good. Can't see anything wrong with that. And the description, well, there's quite a lot there in the description. I mean, I, I probably, I just put in a, I probably at the most sort of five features. I understand here you've got um, all the different types of puzzles that are in there, but I'd probably just put 60 activity pages, the size of the book, a few popular activities, maybe dot to dot coloring book. Uh, this, that list just seems a bit large and, uh, you know, I, my eye goes to the first few and then ugh, I don't want to read the rest. So just put some features um, like, you know, maybe perfect bound, 60 activity pages, size of the book. Um, and I'd probably just leave it at that. Yeah, this is strange. I don't know why. You may want to look into this because it says here, out of print, limited availability. Yet it looks like it's a KDP published book. Now that would be do the search yourself. I don't know why that's occurring, but that could be an issue. Ah, it's got no price on it. So is this one that you've published? I don't know, there's no price on this. It says out of print, limited availability, and I can't click inside. So there's some issues there, which would certainly be stopping you from getting sales. So just double check on that. There might be a reason why you've done that. And this is also what I mentioned earlier. You can shop kids store by age. So if you are producing a book that's for a particular age group, then I would put that in the title. And I think that would help with people that are searching um, if they get this little menu up here. Wow, so that's taken, so that's nearly, let's have a look. Well, we're coming up to nearly 30 minutes, probably a bit less once it's edited. So I find that really useful. Thank you for submitting those books. I hope you found that useful as well. If I didn't get to your book today, I do apologize. I will get to it. I find this really useful. I enjoy it. I think it's useful for, for you guys as well to look at other people's books, see what they're doing, see what may be working, may not. And that's it. So if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and until next time, goodbye.